Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up a Postgres SQL database for a Keycloak instance. So if you don't know how to set up a Keycloak server or if you don't know what Keycloak server is, it's basically an OAuth 2.0 server and I've already made a blog post and video on setting up a Keycloak server in Windows very easily. So you can check out that video if you don't know how to set up Keycloak or what Keycloak server is. So when you run a Keycloak server, by default it uses a file based database to store important information like users, clients, the credentials, settings, etc. on the disk. But in production scenarios, it's advisable to use a robust database like a Postgres database. By default, Keycloak uses a H2 based file based database. And in this video, we're going to change that database to a Postgres SQL database. So to connect to a Postgres SQL database, let's try to set up a Postgres SQL database. So first you have to install and run a Postgres SQL database. If you don't know how to install a Postgres SQL database in Windows easily, I've already made a blog post and video on the topic and I will leave the link of that video in the description of this video. So check out that link if you don't know how to install Postgres SQL in Windows. So in order to link Keycloak with a Postgres SQL database, I've already installed Postgres SQL in my computer and let's try to create a separate database for Keycloak. So in order to do that in Windows, I'm going to open psql so just search for psql in the taskbar and you'll find this sql shell psql and psql is basically the command line interface for the postgres if you're on linux based systems you can just write sudo minus i user postgres and then type psql then you'll be opening the psql command prompt like this in linux based systems so for windows it's really easy just write psql and you'll be opened with a psql command prompt and it's asking the connection since my Postgres SQL server is running in the same computer, the server is localhost and it's right. So let's click enter and the database name is Postgres and the port is 5433. I have set up my Postgres to run on 5433, but the default port is 5432. So in your case, it might be appearing as 5432. The username, this is the username of the admin Postgres user. So my admin Postgres user is Postgres. Generally, it's the same. Postgres is the admin Postgres user name. You have to enter the password for the Postgres user. And now we open the Postgres SQL command prompt. So now let's try to create a Postgres SQL database in this Postgres SQL instance so that only Keycloak can use the database. So first let's write the command create database Keycloak. So I'm creating a database named Keycloak. Yeah, the database is created. And for the sake of security, let's try to create an exclusive user called Keycloak user. And that user can only manipulate the Keycloak database and it can't touch other databases. So let's try to create a user called Keycloak user. So create user Keycloak user with password Keycloak123. And now the user is created. And now let's give the privileges of this Keycloak user to the Keycloak database we just created. So I'm going to write grant all privileges on the database Keycloak to Keycloak user. So now Keycloak user can access the Keycloak database only. And now we will use this Keycloak database and the Keycloak user and configure the Keycloak server to use this Postgres database. So the first step, which is creating the database in the Postgres SQL instance is done. So remember the Postgres SQL database name, username, password, host, port, and everything because you're going to need it to configure the Keycloak server. So since we have created the database and user successfully, let's try to exit the Postgres SQL. The next step is to configure the Keycloak to use the Postgres SQL database. So I've already downloaded the Keycloak server in my local computer. And to configure the Keycloak to talk to Postgres SQL database, you have to go to the Keycloak server folder, conf folder, and in that you have a configuration file called keycloak.conf. So let's try to open that. I'm going to open it with VS Code. You can even open it with a notepad. By default, there will be nothing enabled in this Keycloak configuration file because everything is default. If you want to override the defaults, you have to use the Keycloak configuration file. So that's what we are doing. We are overriding the usage of the local database with the new Postgres SQL database, right? So the configurations required for setting up the database with Keycloak server are like this. First, you have to mention the DB. And here you can see hashtag means commenting the line. That means this line is not valid. So let's try to uncomment this line. So I'm telling DB equal to Postgres. That means I am using the Postgres database. You can even use other databases like Oracle. But for this example, I'm using the Postgres database. So I'm writing the DB type. So DB equal to Postgres and then DB URL host. So DB URL host specifies the host name or the host IP address of the Postgres database. Since my Postgres database is running in the local server, I'm writing DB URL host equal to localhost. And then another configuration is DB URL port. 
So DB URL port is the port at which the PostgreSQL instance is listening. So in my PC, the URL port is 5433. So I'm writing 5433. In your case, it might be 5432. And then the username of the database user. Remember, we have created a new database and a new user. So you have to configure that also. So I'm writing DB username as keycloak user and DB password as a keycloak123. And you have to give the name of the database also. By default, the name of the database is keycloak. But let's try to mention that also. So I'm going to write DB URL database is equal to keycloak because we have created a database named keycloak in the command prompt, right? So I'm writing DB URL database equal to keycloak. So now I have set up the keycloak PostgreSQL connectivity. So I mentioned the database type, database name, database host, port, username and password. You know, instead of writing all these connection parameters, you can even mention the connection in a single line using this JDBC URL. So if you want to mention the connection parameters in JDBC format, you can even do that by using DB URL parameter. So if you mention this parameter, all these parameters will not be valid. So instead of writing four parameters, you can write one parameter by mentioning the connectivity in the format of a JDBC. But in our example, let's keep it simple. I'm mentioning all the database parameters and the username and password. So let's try to save the configuration file and close this. Now we have successfully configured Keycloak to run with PostgreSQL database. So let's go to the Keycloak folder and open a command line here and let's try to run the Keycloak server. So I'm going to go to the bin folder and I'm going to run the kc.bat and I'm going to say start dev. So let's try to run the Keycloak server now. All of the Keycloak server is running. So now the Keycloak should be using PostgreSQL database. So let's try to see whether it has created some tables in the PostgreSQL database. So for that purpose, I have to view the PostgreSQL database, right? So I'm using a software called dbviewer. So dbviewer is basically a database viewer and administration tool. I've already made a video on how to use and install dbviewer. So if you don't know how to use dbviewer, you can check out the link I've mentioned in the description of this video. You can also use PG admin that comes along with the PostgreSQL installation. It is also easy. So you can view the database even also using PG admin. But in this example, we are using dbviewer. In dbviewer, we can see multiple types of databases actually. All right, let's try to see our database in dbviewer. So I'm going to create a new connection, select Postgres, and I'm going to say the host is localhost, the port is 5433, and the username is not Postgres, it's keycloak, and the password is keycloak123, and let's try to test the connection. Yeah, the username was keycloak user actually. So I'm going to write keycloak underscore user. Now let's try to test the connection. Yeah, it's successful. Let's try to finish this. So I got a new connection called Postgres2. I can even edit this and write the connection name general, connection name as keycloak. Okay, so let's try to open this Keycloak connection. There are databases. There is a database called Keycloak and schemas. And there is a public schema and in that you have tables. And in the tables, you can see there are a lot of tables created by Keycloak. We did not create these tables. Keycloak has initialized these tables. By default, there is a realm called master realm, right? So let's go to the realms table actually. Let's try to view the table data. And you can see there is a master realm name as master and let's go to the key clock so i'm going to write localhost 8080 and since it is using the postgres sql for the first time the whole data is wiped out from the local database and i have to set up key clock again now so let's try to set up a administrator user now so create an admin user and go to the admin console now use the admin user credentials and now i have logged in so since i have created the key admin user let's try to see that user now so here there is a user table user entity view table and there is one user called key admin let's try to create another realm called my org create realm realm name is my org and let's try to create this now let's try to refresh the realm table and now we got the my org realm also so this proves that keycloak is using the postgres sql database we have created so that's it guys that's how easy it is to set up a keycloak to use a postgres sql database server you can see I've created a blog post on setting up PostgreSQL database for a Keycloak instance. I've given you the notes on how to set up the PostgreSQL database, the commands required to set up the database and user, and the configuration for setting up the PostgreSQL database in Keycloak. So you can copy paste this and practice it in your own computer. I've also given you the references to the official documentation. This is the official documentation of the Keycloak server database connectivity. And here they have given settings that can be done to configure database in Keycloak configuration file. We have used these settings, right? DB, DB password, DB URL database, 
so there are many other options also which might be relevant to you so please be sure to check out this official documentation if you want to do some further settings you can see the db driver supported are mariadb ms sql mysql oracle postgres we have used postgres by default it's the dev file which is a file based database so please check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace